Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about how to choose proper hiking shoes for your kids. Our family lives in beautiful British Columbia, Canada, and we are constantly on our feet. There's just so much to explore. My son is only four and a half years old, but he is constantly hiking with us every single Sunday, rain or shine, we do hike religiously. Good hiking shoes do make a difference, both in comfort, but also, most importantly, in safety. In this video, I will talk about things to consider when you're buying your next pair of hiking shoes for your child. And if at any time during this video, you have any questions at all, just drop a comment. I am reading all the comments and I will be happy to help. There are many brands of outdoor footwear, but finding right shoes that are specifically designed for toddlers can still be a challenge. At the bottom of this video, I'm going to drop you links of brands who have outdoor footwear lines specifically designed for kids. We think it's important to get season appropriate shoes. That means you're getting the heaviest shoes and waterproof shoes for winter season and demi season. You would get lower cut for warmer weather and you will have like a sandal type breathable ones for the hot summers. One of the first things you should be looking for in hiking shoes for kids, they should be lightweight. If you are a backpacker who likes to camp in the backcountry, you may be looking for sturdier shoes for yourself with ankle support, but this is not something that your toddler would need unless they are really carrying a heavy backpack, which I doubt they would be. So you should be looking for a lower cut, lightweight shoe. Here are the shoes that my son wore last season. These are Merrells, and these are specifically designed for toddlers. Look for soles with good traction. Our four-year-old loves to climb rocks and trees, as many active toddlers do, and I'm sure your kids are the same. So you don't want anything with little to no thread to prevent slips and falls. The next thing you should decide on is whether or not your child's shoes would have laces. I personally do not want laces anywhere near my son's feet. I would prefer shoes with bungee laces or togglers and a velcro strap. It's quick and easy to put on. You don't have to be annoyed by untying and tying the shoes 10,000 times a day. But most importantly, from the safety view, I do not want my son's feet to be trapped in a tree or a rock just because his laces got untied and got stuck. For my son's shoes, bump toes is an absolute must. You see this rubber reinforcement right here? The kids tend to kick things and drag their feet, so this area right here wears quite rapidly. But apart from that, if a rock falls on my son's shoe, or if he kicks something really hard, I don't have to worry that I have to buy him new toes, right? <laughs> so yes, bump toes should go on the list of things you should be looking for in kids' shoes. Now, let's talk about waterproof. Every single pair of hiking shoes that I purchased from my son Cosmos are either waterproof or water resistant. If you have a toddler, I'm sure you know that those guys are magically drawn to water. I want to show you one of the best things about this shoe. Okay, I'm going to take off the, the lace and you see this area over here, right? It's completely attached to the shoe on both sides. So this shoe is waterproof. That means that my son can step into a puddle which is up to here and his feet won't get wet. And if he gets water into this area, it won't get into the shoe as well. So one of the reasons I really love this shoe, especially for demi season, if we're hiking a mountain, anywhere where there is snow, I can be confident that the snow doesn't get into his shoe. So yes, water is everywhere and waterproof is important. Here is the shoe that I bought from my son for this season. It is also mural. It also has um, a good traction sole. It also has a bump toe and a reinforced toe right here. The bungee cords the velcro this one is not waterproof it is water resistant however um, but it should be good for warmer weather i think okay let's talk specifically about choosing hiking shoes for the summer 
you may have a hot summer at home or you may want to travel to your sunny destination and you still want to hike. You do want something breathable, but all of the other considerations do apply. So you're looking for a lightweight shoe with a good grab sole and a closed toe reinforced rubber toe type. Yes, you're looking for a closed toe and not an open toe because no one can sold bumping into things and falling rocks, right? So you want to keep your child's feet safe. Here is my son's summer hiking shoe. It is also mirror, right? It is a sandal. Um, it does have a sturdy sole. Okay, very good grab. It does have a reinforced bump toe. It does have some rubber reinforcement as well as leather reinforcement. It is a closed toe because we are hiking in the woods still in the summer quite a lot. And my son is constantly kicking rocks and stuff. Um, but you see these openings? These make this sandal really breathable. But at the same time, because they are covered with net, they do not allow sand and rocks getting into the shoe. So I don't have to constantly take it off, getting rid of sand and rocks and putting it on again. I'm going to show you another shoe that we bought for last year's season and we ended up not really wearing it all. You see these holes in the sandals? They go all the way to the base of my son's foot and there is no cover so the sand and rocks and little pieces of wood they would get into my son's shoe and I would constantly have to, you know, take it off and and put it back on and it's annoying this here is not a good option and just don't make this mistake we made it once never again the holes that are covered with nets is the way to go if you are purchasing summer hiking shoes to hike the woods kids feet grow rapidly and first off you don't want to limit the growth but secondly you want to ensure the comfort and the safety right Sometimes it would mean for someone who has a two-year-old or three-year-old or four-year-old that you're going to go through two pairs of hiking gear a season. Could be quite expensive, but well, you got to do what you got to do. You cannot save money on your child's safety. When I'm buying hiking shoes for my son Cosmos, I tend to get half a size bigger shoes for the summer and the warmer season and one full size bigger shoes for the colder winter or demi season um, yes i know i'm buying one size bigger but this allow him to grow into the shoes as the season progresses and provides enough space for socks you didn't forget socks did you so those for the winter could be quite thick and you make sure your child's foot has plenty of room speaking about socks what kind of socks are you buying for your kids? Just whatever you get, make sure it's not polyester. The best hiking sock is something made of wool. Yes, it is good for both winter and summer because in the winter it will make sure to keep your child's feet warm and in the summer it will prevent it from sweating. I also prefer higher socks for my son, so his foot is protected from wind and also scratches by tree branches that he is stepping on. One of the stories I hear all the time from my friends is um, they're going to get hiking shoes for their kids, the kids would put them on and complain, the, their shoes are uncomfortable, um, and the parents would be still keeping the shoes and saying hey you're gonna break in into the shoes and the shoes are gonna grow into you and you know they're gonna get comfortable the more you wear them this is the biggest mistake from my opinion because with proper hiking shoes there is no such thing as breaking in the shoe a proper hiking shoe should feel right and comfortable the first time you wear it if your kids are complaining that the shoes are uncomfortable, just wrap them up and ship them back and buy something else. Because if they're still uncomfortable that hike when your child wears them, your whole adventure is going to become a nightmare. Before purchasing a pair or as soon as you got your hiking shoes in the mail if you ordered online, ask your child to try them on. Feel their toes because the toe shouldn't be touching the end of the shoe and ask them specifically if it does. If it does, it's you probably need a size bigger. Now also ask your child to walk around in those shoes and ask them specifically about 
how it feels around the ankle and how it feels around the base of the toes because if something bothers them in those areas they may get blisters and they may never want to hike again with you so better safe than sorry so just to sum up if you really want your kids to go the mile and enjoy every hike that you're venturing out to investing in quality gear for your little ones is extremely important when choosing your kids hiking shoes you are looking for a lightweight shoe with a good traction sole with a bump toe or rubber in first toe something waterproof or water resistant preferably not with lace but rather with a velcro or bungee laces and of course something of the proper size proper season and proper fit right hopefully now you're well prepared and you can purchase the next hiking shoe pair for your child with confidence once again if you have any questions about hiking shoes for kids any other hiking gear or anything outdoorsy please just drop your questions in comments at the bottom of this video i do read all the comments and i will be happy to help if you find the information in this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I'm regularly posting the information about local hikes and travel tips as well as outdoor gear reviews. You will be the first to know when the next one comes out.